Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Virginia Association for Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual Transfer College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that's happening this evening, so be sure to sign up for additional ones at the same website where you registered for this one. And it's also at that site that you'll find recordings of this session and all others in about a week's time. Now I'd like to start our presentations and turn it over to our first presenter from Appalachian State University. Thank you very much. Okay. So thank you for being here with us this evening. Very, very much appreciate um, you welcoming us and joining us. So gonna tell you a little bit about Appalachian State University. Um, we are located in North Carolina in the high country. Um, so we do have quite a few things that happen in our little town of Boone, North Carolina. Um, this is downtown Boone where there are all sorts of shops and restaurants and just things to get involved in. It's right off of campus, only about two blocks away, if even that, depending on where you are on campus. And there's tons of stuff to do in the high country. Um, we do have all four seasons, so we are very excited about that. So students are able to ski in the ski and snowboard in the wintertime, rock climbing in the spring, summer, and fall. Um, we also have the polar plunge in the wintertime that raises money for our um, local charities. And then there's just a ton of hiking and things to do in the high country um, that a lot of our students enjoy. So if you've ever been, then if you've ever been, then you know how beautiful it is. If you haven't, then we welcome you to come see us. One thing that we really value at Appalachian is sustainability. It is one of our institutional goals, um, not only just as an institution, but as a community in Boone. Um, we really value the fact that we have such a wonderful place to live and learn. And so sustainability is something that we very much take advantage of, whether it be our windmill that produces electricity for campus or any of our other sustainable efforts across campus and again in the, in the local area. Okay, so Appalachian has about 20,000 students, um, and we're happy to say that about 27% of those students began as transfer students, whether they were coming from somewhere in North Carolina or somewhere out of state. We do have quite a few students that come to us from our surrounding states. Um, and so we like to say that, you know, there's a great transfer community on campus. About one in four of your, of your peers are gonna be transfer students that are gonna be coming from similar experiences. So very excited to offer that to students. We do have about 150 different majors and with those various majors we also have whether we also have a variety of that come online or main campus. So our average class size is about 28 so it keeps it kind of small and that's a that's so that you can get to know your faculty that 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio just really shows the intimate size of those classes. And with that you're able to take advantage of various opportunities such as research or getting into internships. And that gives you the platform to launch once you get out of your undergrad so that you can get employment or maybe even go on to grad school. So just a lot of opportunities for you to take advantage of. All right, so with regard to transfer admissions, um, our minimum transfer requirements are 24 transferable credit hours with a 2.25 cumulative college GPA. So we are looking at rolling admissions. Um, so that means that we're gonna continue to admit until the class is full. We do have a couple suggested dates to apply. And if you're gonna come in summer or fall, we suggest that you apply by February 1st. And so that's, so, that's just so you can meet our scholarship deadline on March 1st. If you're coming in the spring, we suggest October 15th. So go if you're going to apply, we suggest that you apply through cfnc.org. And if you have any questions about the transfer admission process, then you can look at that at transfer.appstate.edu or admissions or even online.appstate.edu to see some of our online programs. At Appalachian, we do have an office that is just dedicated to our transfer students, and that is Online and Transfer Services, the office that I work in. There we are 20, 20 professionals that are just there to assist you through the whole transfer process, whether that's starting the, the search 
process or going all the way through graduation and walking across that stage. So very excited to offer our transfer students a comprehensive experience that will allow them to succeed once they are finished at Appalachian. All right, one of the things we're very excited to offer our students is a transfer residence hall that is dedicated to nothing but transfer students. So this is gonna have in it a transfer student center. It also will have various meeting rooms. Um, one of our employees from uh, online and transfer services will be housed there to assist with um, campus events and getting integrated and various things like that. So we are very excited to be opening the transfer hall this fall. And we also have a ton of options for students to get involved at Appalachian. We have over 400 clubs and organizations. We have the Transfer Student Organization, which is specifically a social club for students, um, for transfer students. I actually advise that. And so we do various things like going snow tubing, or sometimes they'll go to the Renaissance Festival or scare winds. So lots to do. There's also a ton of intramural sports, um, anything from your traditional sports to playing Quidditch. If you wanna play on our national Quidditch team, there's just a ton to do and so we really encourage our students to get involved. And finally, I just wanted to let you know that we do have our open house coming up. This is going to be virtual. We do have two dates scheduled for next month, so April 10th and 24th. If you would like to register for that, you can go to admissions.appstate.edu backslash visit. And you can also find all of our virtual opportunities um, on there. So we have virtual opportunities to meet with advisors um, and counselors. So just make sure that you're checking that out. And of course, if you have any questions, please let us know. You can give us a call at 828-262-7877, or you can even email us, transfer at appstate.edu. And we would just really like to get to know you and maybe tell you a little bit more about Appalachian. So thanks so much. And again, thank you for being here. Great, thank you, Beth. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Merrimack College. Hi everyone, thank you so much for the opportunity to tell you a little bit more about Merrimack. My name is Jessica Dume and I'm the Director of Admission. And I think one thing that really excites me about the opportunity to speak to you all today is just to share a little bit more about us, but just kick us off just to learn a little bit more about where we're located. So we're located 25 miles north of Boston in North Andover, Massachusetts, really at a really sweet spot in New England. Uh, so thinking about all the things to do from apple picking to ski and snowboarding to hiking trails, to just exploring the historic landscape that New England has to offer. Merrimack is kind of conveniently located um, about 30 minutes from a lot of really wonderful places. Um, but also the access point to the city um, is a really great um, connecting to our kind of suburban residential landscape. Um, so we, we are a fully enclosed residential campus located on 20, 220 acres of, of land. And so especially thinking about that balance of student life, as well as experiential learning, as well as opportunities, our students have that connecting point to Boston through um, public transportation, while also having a, a retreat of our residential um, campus community um, to call home. For us at a high level, um, we are a mid-sized institution, about 4,000 under, undergraduate students um, with a growing graduate population as well. Um, for us, Merrimack has been growing over the past few years, really welcoming students from all over the country, from all different academic um, pursuits uh, to join us in our academic as well as social programs. Um, we have over 100 um, 100 academic programs, ranging five academic schools, um, as well as clubs and organizations that really help students get connected to campus. I think one thing that I find um, is one of my favorite things about campus is the opportunity for students to, to really kind of have their hands in everything. Um, so it's common to see folks double majoring, double minoring, as well as really taking, taking on interests, whether they've had them at their former institution or even things that they wanna to try to really provide that really robust um, kind of whole uh, well-rounded experience. Um, as I mentioned, we are a mid-sized institution. So having that personalized experience in the classroom is important for our students. We see students really building relationships with their faculty, developing uh, a really strong advising model with them through research, internships and co-ops, but also in, through exploration as students really look to refine those academic and social pursuits when they're with us. So having a class size of about 21 with a 15 to one student to faculty ratio really provides a really conducive environment for those, those types of experiences. For us, we're at Augustinian Catholic College. And so what that means is that our, 
our mission is really grounded in really lifelong learning, being committed to the community and really um, that pursuit of learning together. And just thinking about our incoming class, we see students coming from all different backgrounds. And each year we welcome about 70 transfer students in our population. And these are students coming from so many different backgrounds. And we work really closely from the beginning of the application process through graduation to provide that personalized experience. So for us, you'll be connected with one of our transfer counselors to have conversations about what your journey at Merrimack could look like. Those conversations start um, uh, by addressing kind of the transfer credits and having pre-advising before students even commit to the college to really understand that pathway and what that journey can look like um, once students fully matriculate. Uh, we are a fully test optional institution. So for us, we're really looking deeply at your application, understanding the classes you've taken, and also your, your interests and your hopes for, for what, what you can have at Merrimack. But diving into academics, as I mentioned, we have over a hundred different academic offerings. And I think one thing that makes Merrimack unique is the opportunity to get immersed in that interdisciplinary uh, experience at the college. As I noted, we have programs across many different areas. So double majoring, double minoring, um, pursuing kind of those very niche um, programs really creates a space at Merrimack um, to do so. And building those relationships with faculty really provide that space to get that coaching, to get that advising through the process. But I think one thing that makes Merrimack stand out uh, in the experiential learning standpoint, but also in the academic standpoint is the, the coaching model that we have through our academic success center. So in addition to the academic advisors, every student has a career advisor and a success coach, really helping to navigate the intricacies of, um, of the coursework, of the transition, but also just providing a, a, a point person to really help students be successful. So this can range from um, navigating um, the transfer credit process, navigating clubs and organizations, or even navigating more of the softer skills, uh, such as time management, study skills, or simply getting connected to different resources such as wellness, mental health, as well as res residential life. And thinking about dates and deadlines, for us, we're rolling admission. So as I mentioned, students have the opportunity to connect with um, their advisor, uh, their uh, advisors as well as their admission counselors from day one to discuss transfer credits, to discuss academic pathways, and to really take a look at what that journey can look like uh, at Merrimack. We do have priority deadlines um, that really help students kind of work to a benchmark. Um, but as I mentioned, we are rolling admissions, so we'll, we accept applications all the way up through the start of the semester. Um, so especially for those looking to start in the fall, um, we recommend um, that students uh, connect with us as soon as possible um, for, for us to kind of help move through the application process. Uh, and thank you for uh, your time. And if there's any questions, please let me know. Great, thank you so much. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Virginia Wesleyan University. Hi, my name is Nadine. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm from Virginia Wesleyan University. Virginia Wesleyan University. We're a coastal Virginia premier university of the liberal arts. We were founded in 1961. We are affiliated with the Methodist Church, but it is not a requirement for attendance. We've been featured in many magazines and news articles, such as US News and World Report for being the top 25 for the ethnic diversity among liberal arts colleges. Many people often ask, why is it important? Why are liberal arts important? Well, we teach you how to think outside of the box. We have an emphasis on problem solving, creative thinking, and communication skills. We are liberal arts with a twist. Most of our classes are four credit hours. They're four credit hours because we believe that three should be in seat and the fourth should be experiential such as a study abroad opportunity, such as an externship, an internship, a research paper. These are just a few of our majors, uh, minors, and concentrations. Uh, the fall of, of 2021, we will be offering an allied health program as well. The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse is where our students go for internship, undergraduate research, study away, study abroad opportunity, career development, and of course, 
resume writing, interview skills, job placement. We are a growing institution. We've added graduate and online programs in 2017. We have had nearly $70 million spent in the last five years on campus enhancement. And what that means is we've had generous donors and benefactors. We have not had a tuition increase in five years. And we say that proudly because any enhancements on campus is done through donations. We are located at the crossroads of Virginia Beach and Norfolk, which lends to opportunities for internships, externship and undergraduate research. From our campus, 15 minutes in any direction, you will hit the beach. 40 minutes away are the mountains. We are 300 wooded acres, park-like setting, but it's a gated entrance. The only way on and off campus is through our 24 seven security. We're affordable. Tuition is approximately $36,000. Room and board is approximately 10,000. But 98% of our students receive financial aid, FAFSA, merit-based scholarships. Every student, every single transfer student who is admitted will get a merit-based scholarship. And that of course is based on your GPA. We are a yellow ribbon school. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. So if the cost of attendance at Virginia Wesleyan is 47,248, our institutional awards average 24,245. So with the adjustment, the cost at Virginia Wesleyan is $23,003 per year. For the working adults, we offer options. We have evening and weekend programs, which are in-person classes. And we also offer an online degree program. With these programs, almost 75, there's almost 75% reduction in the tuition costs versus the day tuition. Our applications are always free. They've been free since 1961. With our free applications, we offer rolling admissions and all I will need would be an official transcript from every college, university or trade school that you've attended. For our transfer students, if you earn an associates in arts and associates in science or an associates in fine arts from a VCCS, which is a Virginia Community College School, uh, you are guaranteed junior class status, which means that the lower division general, general education requirements are fulfilled and there is no requirement for a foreign language. Contacting us is easy. I am the director for transfer enrollment. My cell phone, which is the 757-613-0663 is literally on 24 hours a day, seven days a week to accommodate transferring students and their active lives. Thank you to listening to my presentation. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me at any time. Great, thank you, Nadine. Our next presentation this evening comes from Glenville State College. Hello, everyone. I'm just gonna share my screen with you guys. All right, so my name is Lexi and I'm here with Glenville State College. So if you're not really familiar with us, we're located right in the heart of West Virginia. Um, I am a uh, admissions counselor here. So my entire job really is to help you through the admissions process, um, specifically um, for you transfers, the process is a little different. So I'm here to answer those questions um, and get you situated and take care of everything. So um, on this screen, definitely you have my contact info. After this presentation, you have questions, you need more info, please just don't hesitate to contact me. 
So here at Glenville, we have a lot of great departments that we offer. Um, something special for our transfer students, you can actually go to our website, you can use um, our degree works, see where your credits are gonna transfer in with us, which is really helpful to you to kind of see what you have left to take here. A lot of great programs. So um, just to highlight a little bit, you know, our business department, um, we have a really great criminal justice department with a crime scene house on campus. Um, they have their own lab. So a lot of hands on work there. Um, our education department, um, you know, really great graduation rate, getting jobs right out of um, college, which is very important. Uh, land resources, I always like to highlight just because that's such a hands-on program. So if you're looking for that, we definitely have it. Um, and kind of exciting for us, um, We've just recently partnered with Marshall University. So we actually have these great programs um, in our athletic training, accounting, and pharmacy. So um, you can transfer in, get in those programs, and you're coming out uh, with either your master's or doctorate which we're really excited about. Here at Glenville, we do have a smaller um, campus. So you definitely see that in the classroom. You're getting to kind of connect with your professor, get that one-on-one -on -one attention. Um, honestly, we all are just working together to make you as successful as you wanna be here. Not just while you're here, but most importantly, once you graduate, that's what we want. Setting you up with those internships, those connections and those job opportunities. Also, um, we also are offering virtual meetings with our departments. So if there is one of those that interested you, you wanna talk more and explore those options there, you can actually do a virtual meeting with the professor. Um, we're really big in athletics here. So that's kind of where we see a lot of our transfer students. So we're very diverse. We have kids that transfer from all over. We have international students. Um, and I think that's really uh, has to do a lot with our awesome athletic programs that we have. So all of those are listed on the screen. Kind of some new ones are our eSports program um, and our uh, boxing, wrestling. Those are kind of kicking off and really awesome for us. Probably the best thing we have to offer our athletes and just our students in general um, are our facilities. So as you can see on the screen, that's our Waco Center. Um, that picture doesn't do it justice. You definitely want to come to campus, see it for yourself. Kind of not pictured is our weight room, turf room, boxing room. Um, we have turf fields for our baseball and softball players. Um, for our musicians, we have our Pioneer Stage downtown. They just built this awesome stage out at our baseball and softball fields where they um, perform. Um, we have a golf course, we have a shooting range, we have about 325 acres of land that our um, high adventure team uses. So there's a lot to offer you um, as a student coming in. And then y'all for transfers, you know, you're kind of looking at the process a little bit differently because um, you've already been to college, you already have all that. So um, kind of the biggest question I get is what is considered an official final transcript? Um, just make sure that all your classes are complete and that transcript has to come directly from your registrar's office. So um, I always recommend if you're not really sure, make sure to just call the admissions office. We'll be able to direct you on how to get that final tra transcript to us. And then also make sure you take advantage of, uh, you know, getting your FAFSA done. We definitely want to make sure that you're getting all the financial support here at Glenville. Um, for scholarships, we are test optional, so you don't have to have um, any of those test scores. And for our transfers, you're going to get um, and qualify for our merit scholarship. We have just a scholarship for you guys, which is awesome. And as you can see on the screen, we're very affordable. So between the in-state and out-of-state tuition, there's not much difference. So um, you're definitely going to get that maximum financial support that you want here at Glenville. So you guys, um, honestly, our campus has is open and has been open. We are on track to have full in-person classrooms in the fall, which is awesome. Um, so I would definitely recommend come visit campus. We would love to have you um, here, you know, get to show you around um, our Waco Center, get you in contact with the professors. Um, also coming up, we're going to be having an open house on April 10th and 11th. 
If you want more information on that, I'll definitely link all of this for you in the chat. Um, but that would be a great opportunity. Come hang out, come see us, come see what we're about. So thank you guys and go Pioneers. Great, thank you so much. Our next presentation this evening comes from Fairmont State University. Okay, let me get my screen shared here. Okay. My name is Summer Bogus. I am the Assistant Director and Transfer Admissions Counselor at Fairmont State University. Fairmont State University sits on a charming hilltop campus in Fairmont, West Virginia, located in the north central part of the state, not too far from Glenville that we just heard from. Uh, but because we're surrounded by nature, our campus community has unrivaled access to outdoor adventures like biking, hiking, skiing, um, all within a one to two hour drive. And we're close to major cities like Pittsburgh, Columbus, and Washington, D.C. Our campus community regularly travels to these cities to experience a world-class art, shopping, dining, and professional sports. Fairmont State University has five residence halls with a wide range of living options from single suites to quads. Um, because of our size, our campus residents are never more than a short five to 10 minute walk from classes, dining, recreation, um, and, and the like. Fairmont State is home to just under 4,000 students and our average class size is 22. There's plenty of parking available on campus, whether you live on or off campus and your parking permit cost is included in your fees so that you're never gonna have to pay extra to park. The hub of activity on campus centers around the Falcon Center pictured here, which is home to the dining hall, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, the Recreation Center, bookstore, and multiple student services. Fairmont State University offers over 50 undergraduate degree programs and over 100 programs of study. We offer several programs that you can't find anywhere else in the state, including national security and intelligence, community health education, architecture, and the FAA Part 141 Flight School. You're sure to find a major that you love, whether you're into science, the arts, business, or any of the other academic programs that Fairmont State University offers. If you're not sure what to major in, we offer academic pathways, which are uh, groups of academic programs with overlapping research and creative interests, related coursework, um, or similar career paths that allow students to explore an area of interest while also helping them to stay on track to graduate on time and save tuition dollars. No matter your major, there's no excuse to not be successful at Fairmont State University. Our tutoring and testing center services are free for students with no cap of number of hours used. Participating in a club or organization is a great way to explore a field that you love and also probably build friendships that could last a lifetime. Fairmont State has over 60 clubs and organizations, so you're sure to find something that you enjoy. Fairmont State also has a vibrant and active Greek life community with three fraternities and three sororities. We offer dozens of intramural activities, including solo and team sports, and we also offer club sports. With a combined 17 sports for men and women, the Falcons take on all challengers in the NCAA Division II Mountain East Conference. Just about a week ago, um, our basketball team actually won the Mountain East Conference Championship, so we're excited about that. Fairmont State University not only has one of the lowest tuition rates in the state, but because we have such stellar outcomes, our value is also unmatched. In addition to financial aid and academic programs that are structured to help you graduate on time, we offer multiple scholarships based on factors such as financial or academic, uh, financial need or academic standing. You can find a complete list of information and application links at fairmontstate.edu slash scholarships. Students from Virginia and all of West Virginia's neighboring states qualify for our Metro rate. This is a discounted out-of-state rate offering over $5,000 in savings each year. We're very excited about our brand new transfer scholarship. All transfer students bringing in at least 60 credit hours with at least a 3.0 GPA will qualify for this scholarship. There's no additional application, uh, but you do have to be admitted by July 1st. So we encourage you to take action on that. If you like what you're seeing and hearing, applying to Fairmont State University is fast and easy. The full list is on our website at fairmontstate.edu slash apply, but here's a quick rundown of what you'll need. Um, our transfer students will need your official college transcripts um, with at least a 2.0 GPA. Um, if you're transferring fewer than 24 credit hours, you must also meet the general admission requirements for first-time freshmen. Um, and those can be found at fairmontstate.edu slash apply. 
And remember, we don't charge an application fee. Um, it is perfectly, absolutely free to apply online. I am able to unofficially evaluate transcripts. Um, so feel free to send them my way if you'd like to know how your classes would transfer. Um, the students are asked to supply official copies of all transcripts for all colleges and universities they have attended. We would love to connect with you after today's presentation. So in addition to the contact information on the screen now, we offer live chat on our website, uh, fairmontstate.edu, um, every Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Be sure to check out our upcoming virtual open house entitled Maroon and White Week, which will be April 11th through the 17th. Nearly 50 different information sessions will be available throughout the week, highlighting our academic programs, student life, financial aid, and so much more. Please feel free to jot down my contact information. I'm happy to help you take the next steps to become part of the Falcon family. We look forward to welcoming you home to Fairmont State and showing you why Fairmont State University is your next step toward your life and career goals. If you have any questions or are interested in getting more information, or if you can see yourself as a Falcon, please take a picture of the QR code um, to be directed to our website. We look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. And our final presentation this evening comes to us from Earlham College. And Susan, if you've begun presenting, you are muted. I did that all backwards. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I'm so sorry. Um, so Erlem, College is um, private arts. Um, I think I'll just go without my my slideshow today. Uh, liberal arts and sciences school located in Richmond, Indiana. We are uh, have a, a student body of about 800 students, and they come to us from over 45 states and from over 50 countries. We have some transfer students every year. I am the transfer coordinator for Earlham College. And we always welcome transfer students. I myself was a transfer student to Earlham College um, when I was 29 years old, and it was a wonderful experience for me. And um, we do offer over 40 majors and minors. We welcome students um, to transfer in your credits, and you will have someone working with you to make sure that you're able to graduate within the four years or two years that you might have left. Um, you do need to be at Earlham College at least two years in order to complete your Earlham degree. Our strongest programs are biology, psychology, computer science, and um, global management, which is our business program. We do um, have very intense classroom experiences. We have been noted by Princeton Review for having one of the best classroom experiences in a small liberal arts school. So if you enjoy class discussion, if you really want to work closely with your professors, get to know other students, um, coming to Erlen would be a great way to do that. As far as living on campus, um, depending on your age, you might be exempt from our housing, in which case you could look for a place to live in Richmond. We do have, um, we do have housing for older students, so we have apartments in the back of campus. You might be eligible to live there. We do offer merit scholarships to all of our students based on your college grades and your test scores if you choose to use them. If you bring in fewer than a certain number of credits, we will also need your high school transcript. Um, again, you will work closely with our registrar and with a professor and academic advisor to make sure that you're able to get your coursework done on time. Um, we offer over um, 60 clubs and organizations. Our students take a lot of leadership roles and those they're all run by students. If you um, really want something 
at our campus and we don't have it, you certainly are welcome to write a proposal and make it happen. We have a program called EPIC, which is Erlen Program for an Integrated Curriculum. It guarantees all students, even transfer students, up to an additional $5,000 one time in order for you to have an internship or research opportunity anywhere in the world that $5,000 will take you. It's a wonderful way, of course, then for you to get to practice what you're studying in college. Um, we've had students intern at Microsoft, at Adobe, at LinkedIn, at laboratories in Thailand, at a factory in Shanghai. So that's all open to you. We also have opportunities for study abroad and you probably could get one of those in as well if you come, if you transfer in. We have programs in over 15 different countries. So you could add that to your list of things to do while you're at Earlham College. Um, we use the common application um, for our transfer students. I am the person working with transfer students, we do ask for um, your college transfer report for your transcript. Um, the, the application itself has a, a short essay in it. And then um, we would have your transcript um, evaluated by the registrar so that you know how many credits would actually transfer. Again, we, we greatly appreciate um, transfer students because we know that you come already a bit more mature than the rest of our student body and the professors will love working with you because of that and welcoming you into their classrooms and all of the opportunities that are available to our other students are also available to our transfer students. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. I had a, a program set up, but I'm certainly am happy to be in touch with you. Um, if you're interested in Earlham, our um, Scholarships range from twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year. Our total cost of attendance is about sixty-four thousand. Um, Ninety-five percent of our students receive some type of financial aid, so it certainly is possible um, to make that transfer to Earlham College and make Earlham your home for the finishing your undergraduate degree. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. We do have a few minutes remaining in the program, so I'll bring back all of our presenters and um, kind of ask a question that, that many students are, are commonly asking, and that would be when they get the chance to kind of come to your institution and enroll, what is one event or tradition, something that they should really look forward to that may be unique to your, your institution? And we can go in the order of our original presentations, and Beth, if you don't mind leading us off. Absolutely. So when students come to Appalachian, we always have a welcome weekend. Um, and we're still doing that even with COVID. We've had to do some more virtual things. But of course, as we move into the fall, we're hoping that, you know, the vaccines and everything work and we can have some more in-person things. But one thing that we do is a t-shirt swap. Um, so we always allow students to bring their old t-shirt from their previous institution to us. And we give them an Appalachian t-shirt for free. And we also always have some food and whatnot to give away there too. And so that's one thing that our students really look forward to. Um, and then it's just, you know, the various events that happen throughout that weekend and then throughout the next few weeks. So it's just, a, it's a lot of organized events that really help students to acclimate to, to the surrounding area and to campus. One of the biggest traditions at Merrimack uh, is a week in November called Mac Gives Back. So we were founded after night on 1947 uh, as a result of helping World War II vets to kind of reacclimate to, um, to the community. And so to celebrate Veterans Day, to celebrate our Augustinian tradition, our students, faculty, staff, alumni um, spends a day, a week going back into the community and giving, um, giving back in a variety of different ways. Uh, this year, we're still able to do it, of course, in a little bit of a different way. Um, but I think it really brings students um, together to meet different students from different backgrounds, but also to get connected with alumni, faculty and staff in a way that is a little beyond just the traditional day-to-day -day, um, relationship. And so for us to have this week every November is something that our students really look forward to. We have so much fun at Virginia Wesley and it's ridiculous. So it's hard to pinpoint just one activity, but I think the most popular would be the mud games. We actually truck in clean dirt. 
I had no idea before Virginia Wesleyan there was a such thing as clean dirt. It means there's no rocks, there's no, no glass, no twigs, sticks, or anything else in the dirt. It's just pure dirt. They load up a pit with the dirt and with mud, and they just have at it. If you are faculty and staff, and you are not part of the mud games, like the three-legged races and so forth, don't stand near the students because they love to hug you when they're covered in mud. But we have other things such as um, PJs at midnight during the midterms. We have masseuse come in during finals and offer free massages. There are so many things going on at Virginia Wesleyan. That's why it's great being so close to the beach. We just get so much fun in, <laughs> at Virginia Wesleyan. But thank you for asking. Yeah, here at Glenville, we like to have a lot of fun as well. So it's really hard to kind of pick a favorite event. Um, probably um, just because right now we're kind of gearing up for it is homecoming week. So those are always really big for us um, where we have a parade, um, we'll have our football game, all of our students will come out, tailgate. Um, there'll be some kind of activity going on, whether that be a mechanical bull, a phone party, or um, I think this time we're having a, a, a rock wall to climb that I'm sure we'll all be like competing in. Um, so that's coming up in April. We're doing our open house around it because it's going to be so exciting. So definitely um, homecoming week coming up. I'm going to have my coworker Teresa chime in here too. She is an alum. So she um, experienced it as a student, but my favorite tradition at Fairmont State, we have a bell that used to ring in our victories um, for our sporting events and our student organizations, they take turns, they just randomly paint it. And so you never know what, what it's going to be on it. They're highlighting what they're doing in the community and what they're doing in their organizations. And every day when I leave my office to go to, up to Starbucks, look over to see what's on the bell. I, I just think it's a really cool way to um, bond with your classmates and your, your peers and just kind of highlight the things that you're excited about and that you're proud of. So I love the bell. So Teresa? You're on mute. Okay, is that better? Okay, um, so I definitely agree with Summer. The bell, um, being a student here, as part of a student organization, and that was always the highlight, you know, once you got to paint the bell and knowing what's the tradition of it and everything like that, it really adds to that excitement to be part of it as a student. So I would definitely agree that painting the bell is definitely something you've got to at least do once, either spray paint it or actually paint. Hi, at Earlham College, one, one of my favorite traditions is that students start and end their experience at Earlham in the same place. So even if you're a transfer student on our new student orientation, you'll walk out of the center doors of Carpenter Hall, you'll process down the sidewalk, we have an outdoor stage, it's a, it's an earthen stage, all the professors are there, the mayor, um, the deans, everyone's there, the flags are up around the stage, and you are welcome to Earlham College. And when you graduate, you process out the very same set of doors with your robe and gown, professors are lining the sidewalk, and they accompany you to your seat, and then you're called and you walk across the stage to get your diploma. It's a beautiful moment for every Earlham College student. Great. Thank you so much to all of you for sharing your institutions with us, as well as some kind of noteworthy events that you have on your campuses. At the conclusion of this webinar, there will be a quick four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And also just a reminder that this is one of many sessions being offered as part of this Transfer College Fair and recordings of this session and all others will be available at strivescan.com backslash Virginia in about a week's time. Thanks so much. <laughs>